All right, in the last video, we figured out that this thing is a divide by two circuit. And so let's see if it works. Now, um, it does have an input filter and an output filter, so I'm not exactly sure what frequencies it was gonna operate at, but I've done some uh, fooling around on the bench and I've basically figured out what the, uh, what the range of frequencies is for this thing, okay? And what I'm gonna do is, first of all, I'm gonna input signals with this thing um, and uh, we will uh, send those frequencies into the input of this, and then the output we can go over to the spectrum analyzer. Now, I want to be able to look at the input and the output on the spectrum analyzer, and, and I figured out a way to do that. So the, this board has uh, a 90 degree phase, or 100 degree, 880 degree phase uh, signal over here, so that's it, the same frequency. So I'm gonna take this signal, and I'm gonna run it into here. And I'm gonna take the output of this and I'm gonna run it into here. And this will combine the two so I can look at both of them at the same time. This is just a splitter, okay? And so what we get is that. We get, um, and I'm sweeping, okay? So this is the input frequency and this is the output frequency. And you can see down here, they're a multiple of two. Um, and so it's sweeping between about 925 megahertz and 1125 megahertz. So somewhere around in there. So we'll kind of a one, a one megahertz. They might have had a one, uh, one gigahertz, I'm sorry, one gigahertz um, LO, and this would divide it down by, by half. So let me, instead of going, um, instead of sweeping, uh, let me set our LO to uh, point, and I'll set it to exactly one gigahertz. There we go. Now I've got exactly one gigahertz CW. And there we go. We get uh, one gigahertz over here and we get 4.996 over there. Yeah. So we get 500 hertz, 500 megahertz over there. So it is a divide by two and it does seem to be working just fine. I don't know how any uses for a, a divide by two, but I do like that prescaler chip. It does go up to three gigahertz, so yeah, that's a pretty nice thing. And it's sort of all set up. I might have to go buy it, go back and buy those other, <laughs> those other units. I think $8 is a pretty good deal for these things. And um, yeah, so let's take a look at that. So there's two outputs, right? And this is one, all right. So let me, uh, let me go ahead and set this up. Um, we just have to kind of remember that. Let's see, how do I remember that? You do trace, uh, trace max hold. Let's see here, view. Okay, so now it's not updating. We'll go to B trace. And now we're looking at a live signal again. All right. So uh, I'm going to remove it from this connector and we'll move it over here. And I believe it will be smaller. And is it smaller? Boy, it's really hard to see there. Okay, so we need to look at that point there. So let's uh, change things around here. I'll just do frequency, a start frequency of, uh, let's say five, uh, no, start frequency of, how do I go back, uh, clear. Start frequency of 490 megahertz and a start Stop frequency of 510 megahertz. Ah, there's our signal. Let's get rid of all this other stuff. Let me turn off the peak table. Let me uh, turn off our traces. Let's see here. Let's uh, go to go back to A. We'll clear that one. Okay. Amplitude, reference level. Okay, so we're at about zero dB and that's zero there. Let's do a peak on that. 
uh, oh, we're at five. Okay, so 5.2 dBm, 5.2 dBm is that connector. And let's go to the other connector. And it is smaller, minus 5.8 dBm, smaller. Oh, okay, so I had them backwards. I had them backwards. This is the uh, coupled port, and this is the uh, full strength port. So I'll have to label those. Um, so this is just a, uh, about a 10 dB coupler, right? It was plus five on that connector and it was minus five on that connector. So we have a, a 10 dB coupler. That's probably why it's called an ACD 10 dash four. Yeah, but the dash 10 is probably 10 dB coupler. I did a whole series on couplers, if you don't know those things are. Um, so there we go. Uh, we figured this thing out. Uh, it is a divide by two circuit uh, centered around one gigahertz uh, due to these uh, filters and stuff. Now these filters are tunable, so you might be able to move it off that by a little tiny bit, but not, not a whole lot, or just bypass the filters altogether and let it run wide open. That might be, <laughs> that might be a fun thing to do. Um, but yeah, there we go. We figured it out.